blood most essential unit of life so what is blood blood is connective tissue in fluid form which runs through our blood vessels in body properties of blood blood is red in color but why it is red because the red blood cells carrying a pigment which make it red and the pigment is hemoglobin you can differentiate red color into scarlet red or purple red scarlet red can be seen in arterial blood because it contains more oxygen and the purple red can be seen in venous blood because it contains more carbon dioxide the average volume of blood in adults male is 5 to 6 liter and in female it's 4 to 5 liters if the blood volume goes higher than 6 liter we call this state hypervolemia and if the volume decreases less than 5 liters we call it hypovolemia it makes approximately 8% of adults body weight the ph of blood is 7.35 to 7.45 in normal range according to ph level the blood is slightly basic when the ph level is more than 7.45 we call this state alkalosis and when the ph level is less than 7.35 this state we call acidosis blood is 4 to 5 times viscous than water it is because of red blood cells and plasma proteins now move on to component of blood basically the blood is formed from two components which are formed elements and plasma formed elements are red blood cells or erythrocytes white blood cells or leukocytes and platelets or thrombocytes now take a look at this picture you can see here 8% of body weight is formed by blood if you look at centrifuged sample of blood you can see plasma makes the 55% of blood and formed elements makes 45% of blood and you can see the buffy coat between plasma and formed elements it's formed from platelets and white blood cells if you talk about plasma plasma contains mainly water it's 91% and the other part is proteins and other solutes and proteins are albumin globulin fibrinogen albumins make 57% of proteins and globulins 38% fibrinogen 4% and prothrombin 1% of protein and other 2% solutes are ions nutrients waste products gases and regulatory substances main ions are sodium calcium potassium magnesium etc and the nutrients are carbohydrate and glucose and the waste products are nitrogenous substances like uric acid urea ammonia creatinine and other waste products from tissues and gases are oxygen carbon dioxide and nitrogen and regulatory substances are mainly hormones and enzymes now after plasma let's talk about platelets and leukocytes platelets makes less than 1% of total blood volume and leukocytes also less than 1% and erythrocytes makes more than 99% of formed elements let's talk about production of blood so first is hemopoiesis the process which is responsible for the production of formed elements is hemopoiesis second is erythropoiesis process by which the erythrocytes or red blood cells are produced and the next is leukopoiesis the production of leukocytes and thrombopoiesis which is responsible for the production of platelets Let's move to function of blood. Blood play vital role in transport, protection and regulatory function of body. Transport function it transport respiratory gases, carbon dioxide and oxygen from alveoli of lungs to different tissues of body and carbon dioxide from tissues to alveoli. It transport nutritive substances like glucose, amino acids, lipids and vitamins derived from digested food are absorbed from gastrointestinal tract and carried by blood to different parts of the body for growth and production of energy. Waste products formed in the tissue during various metabolic activities are removed by blood and carried to the excretory organ like kidney, skin, liver etc for excretion. It transport hormones which are secreted by endocrine and exocrine glands and blood transport these hormones to their target organs. Blood also transport enzymes. Blood also re- responsible for the regulation of body temperature. It makes balance between heat loss and heat gain. Protective function. White blood cells are responsible for the defense of the body. Neutrophils and monocytes engulf the bacteria and lymphocytes are involved in development of immunity and eosinophils are responsible for detoxification, disintegration and removal of foreign proteins. Plasma proteins and hemoglobin act as buffer system and regulate the acid base balance. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like and please subscribe my channel.